So guys, a couple of weeks back, we started talking about this new fangled Chrome OS related thing called a Chromebook Plus. In fact, we even got to review an official Chromebook Plus. But today, I'm gonna to talk about something I think is maybe equally exciting. If you own an older Chromebook, but that Chromebook happens to meet the bottom threshold to be a Chromebook Plus. A few things like having at least a Core i3 processor, at least 8 gigs of RAM, a 1080p screen, etc., etc. Right now, you can go to your system settings and check for an update. This is the Acer 516GE, if I'm remembering correctly. This device is now able to become, to transform itself into, a Chromebook Plus. You can go to that system settings, check for an update, and download a new system update that will enable Chromebook Plus features. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a non-Chromebook Plus that became a Chromebook Plus, and we're going to see exactly how well those features are actually working, those Chromebook Plus exclusive lovely features. So this is that Acer Chromebook, the gaming Chromebook that I did in fact review a little while ago and we have been updated to become a Chromebook Plus and this is sort of the web page that they had me land on kind of explaining what this is going to be about. We're going to close out of this though. We're just going to jump into some of these new features. And the first one I want to take a look at is in the Google Photos, that magic eraser. Let's see how well that magic eraser feature is working. And theoretically, I should be able to click on edit. I should be able to let this thing download from the cloud, obviously. And it should be an option for me here underneath this tools thing. Yes, it is magic eraser. This is wonderful. So I can draw around this leaf. I wish this was a touch screen, right? This would be easier. A touch screen Chromebook doing this kind of thing makes a lot more sense, but whatever. We're going to highlight it with this. It should snap onto that leaf and boom, it has deleted it. It did leave a little bit of the stem kind of left behind. Let's see if we can get the rest of that there. And that's pretty good. Let's see if we can find a better image to do this with though. One that might actually benefit from this. We'll try this one here. Blur is also an option that I'm not sure if that was there before or not. Is that a Chromebook Plus feature? I'm not actually sure. Magic Eraser definitely is though. Let's see if we can delete her nylon bone there. There you go. So you get the idea. That is Magic Eraser and it's working really, really well on this now Chromebook Plus. So another really interesting one is actually something that happens with the webcam and the microphone. If we come down here, to the bottom of the screen, toggle webcam. No, that's not what I want to do. I want to click on this arrow here and you can see a couple of options. Let's do improve lighting. And you can see now it is like a light has now been turned on on the side of my face. That is a fairly dramatic improvement to the quality of this image. We can also do built in background blur, light and full hand, maybe a little bit of a problem there. If we keep it on light, it's a little bit better. Don't wave your hand around and you're probably gonna be okay. So now we're gonna actually switch over to the video being captured by the Chromebook. I'm gonna turn on a rather loud air conditioner, which should now be totally audible. And we're going to now turn on noise cancellation. And you tell me how big of a difference this makes. In my experience with another Chromebook Plus, this was a rather shocking improvement. Hopefully the same is true here as well. Well, obviously that didn't do a whole heck of a lot of anything. So we're gonna do another test. This is just basically sounds of a crowd talking and hopefully it will do a better job canceling this out than it did maybe just the background hum that we had before with the air conditioner. Let's see if this does any better. It already kind of has disappointed me a little bit. Maybe this will help. So obviously the noise cancellation thing doesn't seem to be doing a lot of anything. Not really sure what to make of that, but if you're upgrading to this, you're buying this Chromebook and you're thinking, hey, now with this noise cancellation, I'm gonna be able to do X, Y, and Z. Maybe hold your horses for now because it does not work particularly well, but there are some other things we can look at here with a Chromebook Plus. So because these Chromebook Plus devices have to have at least 128 gigabytes of storage, if you go into your files app and check out the drive section, you'll see now you can access your Google Drive files offline with File Sync. If we hit Get Started, you can see your files will be stored in the cloud and on this Chromebook. So on any other device, you sync something to your Google Drive account, it's going to pull it in and download it onto this device automatically. Again, you've got that extra storage, 
This allows you to actually take more advantage of it. Now, another application that they are touting as being much more usable on a Chromebook Plus is something like Luma Fusion. Of course, this is a full like desktop grade video editing application. And hopefully you'll be able to see here as I scrub through this timeline that it's going to perform pretty smoothly. This was a 4K video and it's got no real problems scrubbing through this timeline. Now I will say that that other Chromebook that I looked at, that I reviewed, the Asus one, did perhaps seem a little bit smoother than this despite the fact that it should have less raw power. But even still, this type of thing is totally doable on a device like this. And if you don't know much about LumaFusion, you can do all sorts of things with this. This is for real a desktop grade video editor and it's something they are promoting now with Chromebook Plus devices. And there are more interesting features to come. You can see here the ability to type some text, right click it and then have AI spruce it up. The ability to use AI to write content for you, give it a prompt and it's gonna write you a paragraph, something like that, really, really interesting image generation capabilities. How about using AI to generate a wallpaper, something we can currently do on something like the Google Pixel 8 devices? Well, that will be coming to your Chromebooks very soon as well. More generative AI backgrounds to your video calls to have different, you know, crazy backgrounds behind you. And I would imagine a whole lot more stuff like this will be rolling out to these Chromebook Plus devices as time goes by. So guys, Perhaps you have a Chromebook that met that requirement. You just ran your update and it popped up and said Chromebook Plus and you thought, I don't know what that means. What did that just get me? Hopefully this video helped answer that question for you. So thanks for watching. Subscribe before you go. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.